In algebra, a rational expression is the result of dividing one polynomial by another polynomial, such as in this example, where we're dividing the polynomial 3x minus 1 by the polynomial x squared plus 7x minus 18. Unlike the other types of expressions that we've seen up to this point in our course, a rational expression may not always have a defined value when certain values are plugged in for its variable. For example, there might be a value of x such that if we were to plug that value of x into this expression, the result might be a numerical expression that does not have a value for the reason that it results in a fraction whose denominator is equal to zero. Because division by zero is an undefined operation in arithmetic, this expression will be undefined for any value of x at which its denominator is equal to zero. In this example, we will find which values of x that is. These are called the excluded values for this rational expression. We can do that first by reminding ourselves that to exclude a value from a rational expression is done because we want to make sure that the denominator is not permitted to equal zero. So the entire question of finding the excluded values of this rational expression is going to turn on us finding where this denominator, x squared plus 7x minus 18, becomes zero. Any value of x for which that happens must be excluded from the possible values of x at which we can evaluate this rational expression. Notice also that the question of excluded values has only to do with where the denominator becomes zero and has nothing to do with any properties of the numerator of this rational expression. So in the actual work that we do, the x squared plus 7x minus 18 in the denominator is something that we'll work with, but the 3x minus 1 in the numerator is not relevant at all to our decision making in finding excluded values. So we can ignore the numerator and focus completely on the denominator. So now that we know what the job is, to find those values which make the denominator zero, that tells us that we should set up an equation where the denominator is set equal to zero, so x squared plus 7x minus 18 is equal to zero, and any x which solves that equation will be an x that we need to exclude from the domain of this expression. That means that all we have to do now is to solve this equation for x. Since this equation happens to be a quadratic equation with a quadratic trinomial on the left-hand side and zero on the right-hand side, the most efficient method of solution is probably to factor and then to split each of those factors into its own equation. We can factor x squared plus 7x minus 18 using the sum and product method to find a pair of integers which multiply to give us negative 18 and which add to give us positive 7. Such a pair of integers are positive 9 and negative 2. So we can factor the left-hand side as the product of x plus 9 and x minus 2. Since the right-hand side of this equation is 0, having factored the left-hand side means we can split it apart into two pieces, one equation x plus 9 equals 0, and another equation, x minus 2, is equal to 0. Solving each of these simpler equations will give us the values of x that we're looking for. We can solve the first by subtracting 9 from both sides to get x equals negative 9, and we can solve the second by adding 2 to both sides to get x equals positive 2. Each of these values, x equals negative 9, and x equals 2, makes the expression x squared plus 7x minus 18 equal to 0. And therefore, 
If we were to plug either of these values of x back into our original rational expression, the result would be a fraction whose denominator is equal to zero, and therefore whose value is undefined. Therefore, these are exactly the values that we must exclude from consideration in the domain of this expression. So finding the excluded values of a rational expression means finding those values of x, or whatever its variable happens to be, for which if we were to plug those values into the expression, the result would be an undefined fraction. And this will happen exactly when the denominator of that fraction is equal to zero. So finding the excluded values is simply a process of setting the denominator of this rational expression equal to zero, and then using whatever method is appropriate, solving that equation for x.